Hello and welcome to the Triathlon Dan YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Daniel, as you know. This gentleman's name is also Daniel, but for, for simplicity, Bike Fit Dan. <laughs> right, I've spent a lot of time with the gentleman this morning. Dan is a physio and a bike fitter. Firstly, thank you for spending so much time with me. What we've basically done is generated a fair bit of content about um, bike fit process, saddle height, cleats, uh, stem length, all those sorts of things. But we wanted to, to, the first episode to go out to be a bit about Dan himself, his business, UK Bike Fit, a bit about your, your, your principles and theories about bike fit and how you fit people on bikes. And is that the right sort of words? Basically, sure, yeah. I want to give you the opportunity to talk a bit about uh, yourself, your business, and, and how you fit people. I will leave uh, Dan's links down below and probably something on screen now. So if you are interested in getting a bike fit, please do reach out to Dan. I'm not just saying it because I'm here. Uh, is a wealth of knowledge in the local area and uh, comes highly recommended. So please do check him out. Thank you. No problem. So, call it Dan, bike fitting, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Good question. How long have we got? Yeah. Um, okay, so bike fitting is essentially, for, for me, and this is how, how I approach bike fitting, um, lots of bike fitters work in different ways. Um, I spend a lot of time working out normal biomechanics of the person who I'm fitting and how that relates to cycling. So, lots of off the bike assessment lots of off the bike work and relating that then to the bike so mm -hmm. the vast majority of the time for me bike fitting is actually spent off the bike mm -hmm. that actually adjusting the bike and moving the bike is, is sort of a small part of what yeah. we do so some things we did were mobility tests flexibility yeah. areas of weakness yeah those sorts of things working out what your normal is because everyone's normal is different there isn't a fit um, a set formula to bike fitting everyone has to be treated individually and depending on what they want out of the bike fit and how they move and how they um, uh, how they ride bike yeah. that's what we need to take into account and that's what the most important thing is in terms of comfort for cycling at least okay. um, so yeah bike fit come in we'd have a chat talk about what you want to do what you want to achieve um, we get all the history of your cycling down basically so how long you've been riding for what type of riding you do where do you ride how long do you ride for what bikes do you use indoor outdoor everything because again that will all have a massive impact on what we want to do with with the bike that's in front of us yeah. you also asked about what i do during the day uh, what your work working life is like all those sorts of things so you're really build, building a big picture up about the person who you're fitting aren't you yeah that's it that's that's uh, that's the word it's a picture of, of that person um, and how cycling fits in to their day-to-day -day life because that all has an impact on our flexibility and, and how we are as humans, how we move as humans as well. Yeah. Um, the other thing we asked about is, uh, uh, that we have to take into account is, is injuries, pains um, in the past. So anything that's affected how you move for a period of time, broken bone surgery, long-term muscle and joint problems, um, anything like that can all have an impact on how we move. So getting all that information down is, is key to how we, how, how we fit the bike and actually we're probably going to change what we do with the bike. So not having that information, mm -hmm. it, it could be detrimental to, to the fit. Yeah, that's where I think, Dan, you don't pick yourself up enough. Dan's at a massive advantage being a physiotherapist, so understanding all of that. I'm sure some bike fitters do flexibility and range of motion. I'm sure there's other courses and stuff, but you've got that in-depth knowledge about injuries and, and ailments that you were able to then apply to fixing the, the, the cause of it very often. Yeah, yeah. Ho hopefully it's more holistic that way. And mm -hmm. like I say, understanding the pain and the injury is actually more important than the position that you're in on the bike mm -hmm. most of the time. So um, yeah, that's, that's personally how I work. And then mm -hmm. what we tend to do after that is translate all that information into how you move. So we'll look at, like you said already, we'll look at your flexibility, we'll look at your core, we'll assess certain movements and certain ac activities and exercises that you do in terms of biomechanics so how your knees move for example how your hips move what your feet do and um, all of that stuff off the bike so when we're translating it to on the bike we know whether it's normal for you or not so what's normal for you is not going to be what's normal to someone else so Dan, what sort of methods do you use to, to measure what you're applying so you've stuck some stickers on me today what does that mean okay so when you're actually on the bike and riding we're assessing you using video software so we're looking at you on the camera the markers are for measuring certain positions of your body whilst you're cycling whilst you're riding the bike um, so we translate that video footage into joint angles into body position and then working out from what we've already done before and in the assessment whether that's good for you or not basically um, so 
the uh, software we use, like I say, is all, all video footage. There are other systems out there that just use like marker tracking, which is fine. Um, but I personally like to, to see the rider rather than just numbers and, and dots. I'd like to see the whole rider so I can look at whatever I want to look at and assess whatever I want to assess in as much depth as I need to. Um, so that's the, the, the advantage, I think, of video footage plus the markers. So we get the marker tracking and, and those joint measurements as well, but we get everything else in between. Um, so I guess an example of that is uh, back angle. So on a marker tracking system, the back angle will just be taken as a straight line measurement from the hip to the shoulder. You don't see anything in between of those two points, whereas that's actually the most important part is yeah. how much is your pelvis tilting, what's happening to your lower, lower back compared to your upper back. Um, so yeah, all that sort of stuff's um, really important to, to assess when you're looking at it on, your, on the bike. Good stuff. So a bit about you then, how long have you been doing bike fitting for? Yeah, so, uh, bike, so I've had this business for coming up to three years now. Um, I've been a qualified physiotherapist for coming up to eight years. Um, Specialised fairly quickly after after qualifying in uh, musculoskeletal physiotherapy which is basically joints muscles nerve pains i guess what most people think of as a physio mm -hmm. that, that kind of thing um i started working in biomechanics within physiotherapy fairly early on as well uh, looking at um athletes not necessarily from cycling but actually from other sports rugby taekwondo swimming all sorts um looking at athletes pre and post season um, looking at where they're weak, where they're strong, where they're likely to get injured and hopefully preventing them getting injured using mm -hmm. treatment methods. Um, so biomechanics has always been my background in, in physio and then cycling's always been my, my hobby for a long time. So translating my work into my hobby is just like dream job yeah. for me. So really enjoy it and um, uh, yeah, it works really nicely. That's the thing is, it's not just theory based, you actually ride bikes, so you understand ride the, bikes, yeah. Yeah, what people say when they're, oh, when I'm cycling in this hurts, you're like, okay, well, I can relate to it. <coughs> yes, yeah, yeah. Um, ride a lot, not as much as I would like, but life. You ride enough to make me look silly in the weeks <laughs> a few weeks ago, so good stuff. Okay, well, thank you very much for your time, Dan. Look forward to getting these videos out over the next few weeks at some point, when I get through all, all, all the footage. Do appreciate your time and uh, hope you guys and girls at home enjoy it. Yeah. So then, if you want to check Dan out, the links are down below. Good night.